Hello, WarTubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Warlock, Master of the Arcane, with me, Blue Ankylo. In the last episode, uh, actually I'm not 100% sure, it's been a little while for me, uh, had some uploading troubles, so it's, everything's been delayed a little bit. I think we built that cool temple over here, so that was good. And, uh, uh, you know, we did some things, some stuff, you know, you know how it is. So anyway, uh, let's just get back into the thick of it and uh, see what happens. Uh, yeah, we're, we're definitely uh, sort of... Oh yeah, I did a lot of positioning up here, so let's see. I see some mages and some healers or clerics or whatever up there. We'll see how we do here. This might be a little bit dangerous this turn. Uh, settlers are not going to be that dangerous. Well, it seems like he was nice. The he did not... Research is yes, yes. Thank you, Narratar. Uh, he did not attack with his mages or his clerics, so that gives us a chance to slay them profusely. And we can now recruit noble werewolves, even though mostly we just want shamans for now. But these guys, let's see, they're not too expensive, but they're pretty strong. 20 and 40, and some nice regeneration. They also do spirit damage, that's handy. I like spirit damage. Not a whole lot of stuff has spirit resistance. So, good, excellent, beautiful, wonderful, majestical. Uh, right, spell research, we continue to research random stuff. Um, I th at some point, seeing as we've increased, we've, we've built that temple, we should get some new spells at some point since we built that. But it might take a little while. It seemed like in the last game it took a little while for it to sort of sort itself out. I'll just let the town... Uh, oh, I didn't know what I was going to do before I forget. I was going to rename this town. Uh, town, thank you. And I think I'm just going to call it Blueberries. Because uh, that's kind of clever. Slightly. Slightly clever. I'll have to use some more of the viewer suggested names once I remember them. <laughs> Alright, well this looks like I should kill those guys. Um, surprisingly, my uh, sharpshooters are going to do some damage to them. So, 8 damage, that's more than I thought they'd do. But these guys should do a little bit better. So let's, let's see the action here. Uh, seasoned spearmen versus some goblin sniper er, skeleton snipers. Uh, yeah, that's pretty successful. <laughs> Good deal. All right, what else should we do? Um, I guess. Well, I guess we could build. Building's fun. So this was our. What did we get? We got a market, a farm, a harbor. Oh yeah, we kept getting those dumb build a harbor quests. Looks like we're getting a little low on mana income. Um, um, num, num, num. What should I do? What should I do? Okay, this one is definitely going for food. So it can have a fishing village. It also connects that up a little bit, so that's good. And this one, I don't know. It's kind of all over the place. It's one of those towns, you know my towns, that just have a little bit of everything. Ah uh, well, a bit of mana won't hurt, and we can connect up that direction, so... That's not the worst idea, probably. Now, to, f to fighten. Uh, check my shamans out. Their uh, healing is on cooldown, so I can't do that just yet. Oh, I've got masterwork armor now, so it's, it's probably built... Yeah, that... Uh, foundry for iron. So I could spend some of my money, and maybe I should, to upgrade various, like, people that are going to be in the thick of things, because they could get 25 more missile and melee resistance, which is pretty good, although, I mean, I don't know if that's the best upgrade right now. I mean, let's think about it for a second. Shamans should attack. Shamans! Okay, well, if they say shamans, then shamans it is. <laughs> um... I'm going to put these archers... No. No, no. Stop, stop, stop. That boat... Should we kill that boat? Yeah, let's finish off this boat. Yeah. These guys are doing... They're my boat slayers. I dub the boat slayers. 
So maybe you are the best archers at the moment. Uh, so they did that. Now these guys that are a little bit, yeah, they're a little bit hurt. Uh, they could use some regeneration, but for now I need more attacking. So shoot those mages. Not bad, not bad. Now one thing I should check quickly. Shamans do some spirit damage, but not a whole lot. So let's just check resistances. No spirit resistance. Clerics, even the clerics have no spirit resistance. So nothing is particularly going to be strong against it. It's just not... Uh, they're not gonna... Like, they don't do a ton of damage, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. But I definitely want to kill them uh, mages from ranged, if possible. There we go. Not bad. Because they do quite a lot of elemental damage, and my guys don't have very good resistances to that. So now... Oh, right, my pirates. Okay, let's see how the pirates do against the mages. Eh, they took four. Could have been worse, but... At least we got the mages down. They were the strongest, probably. Um, I'm gonna let these guys heal up. Uh, that's right, I pulled them way back, right, because they got hurt. And I think I will let this guy move in, because they'll be able to take a little bit of damage now that they're up close. I might even buy them some armor. And I'm going to have the archers just take some shots on the healers, because I don't want them, uh, you know, healing everyone up. They look a lot like my shamans. Actually, maybe not quite as good even. Only nine spirit damage? Similar. Just not quite, uh, well, I guess similar, just not quite the same. And now, let's try to kill them with these guys. Yeah, not too bad. We're going to take a bit of damage, but that's just the nature of the stuff. I'd rather take some damage while hitting them than let them attack from ranged. And these guys, uh, you know, let's finish those ghost wolves off while we're here. No point letting them live. And at least my injured unit is far at the back, so hopefully they don't get uh, ganged up on too badly. Only f mistake I can see is I should have left someone on the hills there f to guard sort of my shamans and my archers, but oh well, oh well. Um, I think that's good for a turn. I got a could cast a spell, but I don't have a lot of mana right now. Oh, I know what I was going to do. Uh, these guys up front oh, you know we spared, yes. are going to get some armor. Woohoo! So they got tons of melee and missile resistances. Uh, I'll give that. I'll eventually get that to everybody once I can afford it for sure. Um, and some magic, you know, these warriors, no, they're not too tough. It might be smarter just to finish them clerics off. They've got five health points, hit points, and a little bit of resistances to stuff. So, ten damage probably would do it. Uh, just looking for the cheapest one. Five damage would not probably do it. And... 16 would, but it costs more. I'm just trying to be um, frugal on my mana use right now. 12 life. No, they've got life resistance. Life life only works on um, undead by the sounds of it, so. Uh, let's just use Sunstroke. I think that's the cheapest spell I've got right now that should kill them. I suppose if I was really clever, I would have done that first and then had my Spearman attack, but meh. Can't remember everything. Still have quests to do that city way in the middle of nowhere and to build another harbor but uh, I guess I'll do that I could use the money oh what's going on whoa we took a ton of damage ouch alright come on pirates pirates did okay and there's yet another boat so more boats oh man come on archers holy smokes I thought I was making a dent in the boat population, but apparently not. Oh, come on. That's not cool. Alright, well, I got lots of stuff to do. A new spell has been researched, my lord. Thank you. 
Now we'll learn Dispel. Might as well, fast. I like researching the quick spells first. I also like doing easy stuff like this first. <laughs> Good job. You sure killed that guy. Alright, so we're still uh, not really in any position to fight that fire elemental yet. So, not gonna do that. Now, gee whiz. Um, they did take a bit of damage. They, Oh, they can still one-shot them though, so that's handy. Let's have them move back a little so that he's not gonna get hit by three boats next turn. And for now, he's just gonna keep uh, plunking away. Plunk, plunking away. All right. Uh, let's see. What should be? What should we do? This guy took. So this must be their capital over there, and it's doing a ton of damage to us. So we should not stand. Well, I'm not sure the range of it, but it must be like here or here or something. Oh, or wizard's guild? No, that's just for magic. Um, yeah, I'm not hundred percent sure where it is, but definitely need to stay back. Uh, first off, let's do some healing. Let's heal those guys up. And let's have... Let's actually kill them from range. That's... A smart thing to do, right? Attack from range first, and then finish them off. Alright. Now let you heal up. And you're gonna pull back, I think. I'll let you heal up next turn, maybe? These guys are going to move up again because they're pretty much rested. And it's probably kind of annoying that this town just showed up out of nowhere. So let's try to deal with that post haste. Uh, yeah, I'm not too happy about this town. That town made me mad. <laughs> uh, oh well, we'll get over it. Uh, let these guys maybe rest up for a second. I don't have enough shamans yet to uh, cast heal all the time and keep everyone alive, but soon. Uh, I'm looking forward to that, actually. Alright, well, that was a quick enough turn. Still not a lot of magic to go with, so I'm just going to save up some mana for now. Oh, you can still hit that guy. Ouch. Oh, that's probably my archers. Oh, that's no big deal. Alright, so their capital city can still hit you here. That's that's something that we should know. <laughs> the new spell research is complete. We can now recruit rogues. Oh yeah, that's fine. No big deal. And we're still researching all kinds of stuff. All kinds of crazy stuff. You know, some of these runes might not be the worst idea. Maybe I should cast one. Wonder where they are. Are they in are they summons? Yeah, they do seem to be summons. Hmm, I'll have to think about it. Could destroy one of their buildings. That's kind of cool. Could bless some more of my towns. I'm making pretty good food though, so I'm not too concerned about that. I'll have to think about it. Magic shield, immune to enchantments. Well, one thing I have not noticed is the enemy really casting um, spells like that on my guys. So, not too worried about it just yet. For now, we'll probably just, oops, wrong button, keep, keep trying to kill stuff. So we've recruited more shamans, excellent. And I'll see about giving them some upgrades later. For now, get to the battle. Get to the battle? Please get to the battle, thank you. Okay, so what are we going to do? How are we going to take this capital city out? It is just beaten us up to a pulp. So first sort of easy decision up here. Let's finish this town off. Maybe I should take the town up here up because I'm pretty sure that's going to be their capital. So let's just explore up this way a little bit more. And I I really don't want any more human towns, so let's just finish it off. Um, okay, let's get everyone healthy. So I'm guessing that right here must be the capital, and then one, two, three is its range. So as long as we stay out of these tiles, we should be okay. And I'll move you up a little bit, 
turn you up a little bit. Just getting everyone ready to go, because when we do attack, we're going to want as much as we can ready at the same time, I think. All right. And you can kill another boat. My boat massacring unit. That's nice. I wonder... I mean, I could, I could destroy their wizard's guild. That might be good. They won't be recruiting any more wizards if I blow that up. It's an idea. It's an idea. Uh, this looks like all food all the time. We're up to tons of food, so that's good. Uh, right. The question was, <coughs> now, do I have enough farms for the mill to be worth it? And it's probably looking like it is, so let's put one down. Yeah, that's the question. When, when you're building these percent improvement with high upkeep, it has to actually make an improvement to, make a, to actually be useful. So this one, I think, donkeys... Was I going to go straight for money or for food? Now, I'm going to go with food, even though 10 gold is more than the 4 gold I'll get out of that, or 3, actually. Because... I can cast the food blessing on this town and get percentage improvement and I don't think there's a whole lot of money percent increases I can get so I think eventually that'll be worth more. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, let's see this town. Lots of food going on again. Perhaps time for a granary at least. So let's put one in. And you're on rest time, sleepy time. And uh, you can uh, maybe explore a little bit. Oh, there's some archers over there. Well, might not be the best to have my archers go up against their snipers. But uh, eh, we'll live, we'll live. For, for a while, we'll live. Now, let's see. What's a good idea? Moved all those. Oh, I have to decide what to spend my money on. Now, I could recruit another shaman for every last coin. Yeah, let's do that. I still think more shamans is a good plan. Got to get more units up here that can heal and do spirit damage and stuff. I do want to get rid of uh, that guy. Actually, you know what I should do? Let's go pick that up because I could use the money. <laughs> I forgot about that. Now that we have harbors, we could go pick stuff up in the water. Yeah, that's okay. You keep sending your boats out, I'll keep shooting them down. Uh, you know, my guys might be strong enough to take them out one-on-one. -on -one. A new spell has been researched, um, my lord. Especially if they regenerate. Do they? Yeah, they regenerate three. Oh yeah, look at that. Totally good. I wasn't sure if that would work or not. Usually, archer versus archer against skeletons is probably not the smartest thing you could do, but hey. Oh, here we go. Sun blindness. That's a Helia spell for sure. Uh, I don't know if it's particularly good, but it blinds them. So uh, let's learn it. I like new spells. Also like uh, killing boats. Woohoo! Critical hits. Good job, archers. Sharpshooters, I suppose, technically. Alright, so what are we doing? What are we doing? Um, I think... I think that I'm going to try to take this town out first. Maybe the Bat Fort. Well, yeah, let's take the Bat Fort out first because that's not as strong. And I'll move these guys up here and also attack the Bat Fort. Not bad. So let's see. One, two, three. As long as we're not in this spot, we should be safe. So that means I could put some archers right here. Ah, but they ran out of movement figures. How about you? You can attack it. Good job. Good job. One less bat fort to deal with. And a graveyard. Oh, this must be an undead town. Well, we're definitely going to destroy that as soon as we get in there. Uh, pretty good melee resistance. Not going to worry about it just yet. Um, you think that's enough? Four units should take out one town? Yeah, that's probably good. The trick will be getting that town. I guess I might as well just move every everybody up. Your call? Looks like we can heal again. Oh, you know we spin, yes? 
So let's... Oh, he can only move three. So let's let's be smart about this. Uh, yeah. Seasoned spears. Pretty sure the majority of my units regenerate, so topping them up with resting is kind of just a waste of time. Uh, although, if I haven't bought it, then it doesn't work, obviously, but... <laughs> I'm trying to be clever. I'm trying to be clever, viewers. Okay, so definitely I want two shamans up here for that assault. Maybe even three if the third one's ready in time. We'll take that city out first, and then we'll take that one out. And I'll probably want to start settling fairly soon, but for now I'll just worry about upgrading my units so that they're, you know, as, as strong as I can make them. Yeah, I want to get most of my spearmen that uh, masterwork armor. I mean, actually, you know, that might not be the smartest thing right now. The town did, like, elemental damage, right? It's like a big fireball, so... Yeah, I guess I'll have to think about that. Well, let's end up another turn, see how it goes. Oh, right, good job. 30 gold. Not terribly handy, but better than nothing. Lich ten, huh? Looks like they're, they've got a few units up here that we have to deal with. Uh, yeah, skeletons versus archers, not the best ma matchup, generally speaking, not the smartest way to do things, but I can cope. All right, so these guys are just working away, I'm not going to worry about that too much, I think we'll be okay. I've successfully cleared that, so now you can go home to Blue Waffles. <laughs> And what else are we up to? Well, we're building stuff. Nah, this place got a gold mine, so instead of being all about farms and granaries, we're gonna immediately switch to trying to get tax offices, because, uh, yeah. So let's build some more roads upwards. That will be good. Yeah, now that it's got a gold mine, it's gonna be very valuable to get taxes. And this place has grown, so now we can get a mana pump for lots of mana, might be good. Or a cheese cave, I haven't seen that. That's kind of cool. 12 food and 6 mana, not bad. But, yeah, enchanted weapons. Pretty much gonna say I want enchanted weapons more than I want cheese cake. Cheese, cheese cake, <laughs> cheese cave. <laughs> Actually, between the food there and the pig foods, that could have been a really nice town for uh, food, but uh, I just want those enchanted weapons, so. That's how Blue Ankylo's priorities work. This place is all about the money, well, and maybe trolls, but for now, banks. Bank it is. Uh, let's put this there, let's say. Trolls Bridge, yeah, that's, that's going to be, uh, I want some trolls, definitely want some trolls. How is my capital doing? Almost ready to build a new building. And I think, yeah, he's going to build the troll bridge because he gets all the, the bonuses. So that makes sense. Now these archers seem to have destroyed the majority of the uh, boat. Oh, never mind. <laughs> There's another boat. It was just hiding. It was waiting for us. <laughs> all right. Now up here, let's decide how to take this town out. Uh, there's some bats, so let's shoot some bats. That's easy enough. Not a difficult decision there. And some sh shamans that cannot heal this turn, so they might as well sh shoot the skeletons. Which is always handy. And they got level up. Ooh. So they can do elemental damage death resistance or healing. For now, let's just make them healers. More healing power probably is good for now. Uh, it's not going to make a huge difference, but uh, you know. So we might as well have the archers attack the town because I don't think they're going to make much difference attacking the skeletons. Right? So that'll do. And then I'll bring these guys up. Yeah, you can didn't quite kill him. Oh look, another mage. Uh, and then everyone else can just work on the town, I think. That'll just have to do. 
All right, so what am I going to spend my money on? Hmm. I don't think we really need more units right now. I mean, there's definitely some upgrades I could get, but I think I want to keep pushing the the expansion up. So let's recruit a couple more settlers. I'll recruit one here and one here, now that my cities have grown up. And then I'll put a new town somewhere along here, maybe like right there, just so it spreads. And I mean, that's probably what he's going to try to do anyway. And I'll put another one sort of here, and I probably sh need to explore up that way, so I'll have to do that soon. Um, do I have anyone that can recruit? What do I have? Rats. Yeah, they're real cheap. I'll recruit some rats, and I'll just send them up just to see what's going on up there. So yeah, that's pretty good, I think. Uh, yeah, let's call that a turn. Call that a turn, done. Yeah, you guys, Lichten is not going to last very long, so I think we're good. The new spell research is complete. Excellent. Also got to level up somewhere. Uh, let's see. Yeah, more power. More power. We likes our power. And, oh, figures the rats are back. I was trying to kill those before, but couldn't quite clear that rat hole. Ah, more spells. Berserker. Sure, why not? <laughs> I don't know. Let's just learn it. We'll see what it looks like later on if I have time. And we've got our third shaman. Excellent. So I think that's enough shamans for now. And they're not uh, cheap, so I can't just keep recruiting them. I, I've got lots of stuff to spend my money on, so it'll have to do. Uh, let's see. What should we build here? Uh, university education... Magic Bazaar, that's not bad either. Doubles my mana income. Wow. Gives me another plus 11. That would not hurt. I think I'll go for the university first so that I can get the upgrades. Um, the military academy is what you need for... Um, for something. <laughs> for uh, upgrading your shamans and trolls, right? Let me just... Nah, I can't check right now, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. So That's a very important building, I think. Oh yeah, I'll let these guys uh, keep working away. I think they're going to win, actually. They're full health. These guys are almost dead, so I'm impressed. Very good, very good. Now, I'd like to kill those if I can. I'm not sure... Oh, these guys must have Pathfinders. Awesome. You are the best archers. Do they have Pathfinders? Yeah, that's why. The lava does not slow them down nearly so badly. Ah, very happy. Very good. Very good. Très bien. Ah, right. So we're just going to keep working away on Lichten. I've got a good feeling about it. We should be able to take it this turn. My apologies if you wanted to see me do all that slowly, but uh, I just uh, wasn't in the mood. Now, I don't really want an undead town either, so... But I will keep these settlers alive as best I can. Um, that way I can make an undead city at some point if I decide I want it for a specific resource. Like silver, actually, maybe. Uh, I'll have to think about it. But I do know silver, remember, from before. Gives us cool stuff. And pumpkins, too, technically. So, actually, maybe I should, instead of making another gnome settlement here, maybe I will make an undead settlement by the pumpkins. Or a human settlement. I probably should recruit some human settlers just for that purpose too. Yeah, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Uh, let's see. I'll let my shamans... What should I let them do? I should probably keep them healing. Just keep everybody healthy. And I'll rather kill the... You know, kill the enemies with my archers. Because they don't have anything else to do. Alright. So... Oh, there's another fort over there. Oh well. Looks like the blue guy has expanded to the west. Unfortunately for him, I think his days are numbered because we're about ready to attack his uh, his capital city. Because uh, I'm not going to sort of overextend and reach all the way around just to do that. Uh, yeah. Don't want to recruit that kind of stuff. Mills, granaries, and butcheries. Alright, so I think... I think I'll end the episode here. 
Uh, I'll try to get a few more of these out a little bit quicker. I, I do want to put, you know, one or two episodes out a day. So my apologies if there's been a little, you know, break in between stuff more than usual. You know, it's just how things go sometimes. Um, but yeah, I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, the war with Merylbus is pretty strong. I mean, we got lots of units up here and uh, it'll be a kind of an adventure to take on a capital city. We'll see how that goes. Um, I'd like to take it out before it hits level 10 because it might get stronger at that point. So I'll try to speed things up. And my CDs are looking pretty good, you know, I've got lots of stuff. Maybe not as much mana as I could, as I would like, but tons of food and money, so... Well, money's coming. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching again, I hope you have enjoyed. And stay tuned for the next episode of Let's Play Warlock, Master of the Arcane, Monster Edition.